around the room. These are the people that made this group happen. Why are you sitting? <laughs> These are the people who made it happen for me. All I did was bring the message. These are the people that made it happen. Trust me. We had 12 meetings, and every meeting was, how can we make the group better? And I'm here to tell you, next year, you guys are going to be blown away. This ain't nothing compared to what's coming with the great Marty Weber and the great Mercedes Presley. So like, seriously, let's give him a warm. <laughs> Before I forget, mark your calendars for our first meeting of 2011, which is Wednesday, January 12th. We will have a rock star up here. This person, <laughs> sort of, he is the rock star of the financial. He, he is the rock star of the financial services industry. They pay him thousands of dollars to speak in front of most big groups, and we got it. We got it. So, don't ask me his name, but you've seen him on CNBC, uh, Maria Bartolomo. I mean, he's been all over TV. I tried to get him this year, but his travel schedule is so. So difficult. I'm told Carlos, I'll be there for you for Marty, January 12th. So Marty your schedule is going to be a great kickoff to 2011. Now, Tom, yes. who's going to be electrocuted? Well, do me a favor first before yes. we do uh, that. Could you put that chair up there? Absolutely. Okay. What else do you want me to do? I want you to sit your ass down there. Yeah! <laughs> started 15 months ago. It took me three months to get Carlos to say yes and take this job. He told me no 55 times. When he finally said yes, he said, I don't feel worthy of this job. I don't think I can do it, and I don't think I can handle it. I think he's handled it okay. What do you think? Very few people in very few groups, and believe me, I belong to a lot of groups in my years in business, have brought the enthusiasm, and I can never imagine anybody bringing a group to life the way he's done. He has done a wonderful job for us. We never knew what was going to happen with Carlos from taking, <laughs> his, from taking his pants off one day, which scared the bejeebers out of everybody here, uh, from falling on the floor when he presented different people to the four people from Orr Plumbing. <laughs> <laughs> what you did to Orr Plumbing? She shouldn't be here. Uh, well, they've gone through four people. <laughs> what, a lot of people know, what a lot of people don't know about Carlos is the effort he put into this job. The effort of coming here the night before the meeting and setting this room up to make sure it was right. The effort of making sure that the people who delivered the food after the first couple times, got here on time. And we had good food, and we've had good service. And that doesn't just happen. That happens because of Carlos, okay? Uh, and plus the fact of sending out the, the weekly message that Carlos does every week, just to be enthusiastic and to let people know that he cares. He always introduces us with a tremendous amount of enthusiasm and passion. And most of the time he forgets himself, as he did again today. One of the other things that most people don't know about Carlos that I do know, there's a lot of times that he played hurt. He never missed a meeting. And there's days that a lot of us would have just said, the hell with it, let somebody else run it for a day. Carlos has had some health problems this year, some physical problems that he won't talk about, but he still showed up. And playing hurt is part of what Carlos considers a lifestyle. Uh, a lot of us would have walked away, like I said. Carlos has made a lot of friends gained a lot of respect from most of us. I would say all of us. All of us. I want to thank you for your efforts along with the members of the, yeah. the forum. Carlos, you have made a big difference in what is called enthusiasm, in what is called inspiring. Because you're a little strange. <laughs> <laughs> I know. And, 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 you know, I actually have to that. <laughs> you know, some people, some people go for it and they give you some crazy type of gift or something like that, or they give you a plaque to put on your wall. 
I know poor Gail over there, you about drove her nuts. <laughs> <laughs> so I watched you during the week. You stood up here with a baseball in your hand, a football in your hand, wadded papers in your hand. Well, knowing your real, real love, uh, we all got together and we got you something. And <laughs> something that we feel is important to you because this oh is. Oh my God! But you got to take it out and look at it. Yeah. You guys know me well. Anybody that has to sign it, the pen is still here. And, and yeah. Yeah. It reads BBC Chairman Forum 2010, and I'm the holder for the. Uh, I had to go to. I had to go all nine yards. Mm -hmm. Carlos Ruiz, thank you very much. How about a standing ovation? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you again for your work. 